Welcome to eGroupware. eGroupware offers a large variety of useful options to all admins that organize and facilitate your daily work. We now show how to adapt eGroupware to the needs of your company anytime on the basis of the most important basic tools. For you as an admin we offer for example Management of user accounts and user groups Development of global categories, for example for clients Definition of access rights, creation of additional custom fields, and adjustment of general settings for all users. First of all, the user accounts and user groups. They are located like all admin options in the left side's menu. An existing user account can contain lots of information, like an address, contact data, photo and password, and a group membership. To create a new account, choose Add and then enter all the corresponding information. Define a login ID. Please avoid space characters here. If you want, the account can be time limited. That could be useful if it belongs to an intern, for example. Choose to which groups the user belongs to, like management or marketing. Primary groups have priority over the other while filtering. Here you fill in the immediate work environment, for example the user's team or department. I now come to user groups. They are also located on the left side's admin menu. Via clicking to a certain group, you see all its members. Choosing the context menu, you reach different options. Via edit group, you can add more persons to your group. You can also see which content is available to that group. In the context menu of a certain group, you can adjust more settings. Via access control in every group's context menu, I can get an overview and more options regarding the group's rights. It's quite easy to define new rules in access control. I just click to the button Add. Here I specify who can read the calendar of the admin group. For all access rules, we provide three filters. Who can see a user's or group's data? Which other data is the user allowed to see? Which run rights does the user own? Our tip. Always define rules for whole groups, not for single persons. Like this, access control is always clear and easy to adjust. If I change the rules for a group, the rights of every person in it will automatically be adapted. Next topic will be the admins menu. There you can find lots of information that's especially interesting for you as an administrator. You want to know which version of eGroupware you're actually using? Choose ChangeLog and Versions. In ChangeLog we always enter all important changes of the software. The next step explains how you adjust settings of all applications via the menu on the left side. The most important options are General configuration of the application, creation of global categories, addition of custom fields. Via site configuration you find setting options concerning all applications. Now we come to the usage of categories, taking address book as an example. Categories help you to identify and filter your data. They could contain clients or partners. Categories can also have a hierarchical structure. If you define them, your colleagues can add all their contacts to those categories. This simplifies filtering a lot. It is also possible to create categories only for certain groups. Perhaps your marketing needs its own media category to store special contacts there or to send a newsletter only to contacts belonging to this category. The last topic in application menu are the custom fields. As an admin, I can add my own customized fields. You want to add more information to your contacts, perhaps you want to save the language of a certain newsletter or who receives a Christmas present. Therefore, choose custom fields, for example in your address books menu on the left hand side and then click on add. Like this you can easily set different types of new fields. The user can write his own content in a text field, while buttons show fixed options and the user then has to choose. At the end of this tutorial we give you some information about the settings that you as an admin can choose in our blue top menu. In the top left corner you always see which application you are working at. On the right hand side the type of preference is displayed. In general there are three types of preferences. Your preferences, 
default preferences and forced preferences. Your preferences are defined by yourself. Default preferences are predefined by the admin but can be changed by every user. In case the default for your template would be the standard template, every user could still select our mobile template. Forced preferences are made by the admin. There's no option to change those settings for normal users. Like this you define for example if your colleagues can have their own private address book or not. With the preferences you as an admin quickly define different rules for the usage of our software in your company. This makes eGrouper flexible and easy to adapt to your needs. We hope our video showed you the basic admin tools of eGroupware. More helpful tips for users and admins are provided in our other tutorials.